I don't know about you, but I am sick of buying Duracells, <clears throat> Energizers. Price of batteries have shot up, skyrocketed, it's through the roof. It's just going to drain them, deplete them, and what do you do? Throw them in the trash. Anyways, I had an old, I don't know if it's Energizer, Rayovac, Duracell, whoever made it. AA battery charger. I have no idea whatever happened to it, nor to the batteries. And it could charge 8 AA's, 4 C's, 4 D's, and 9 volts. Anyways, don't know where those are. So I bought this in the meantime. You know, we all have a radio. Maybe a flashlight that runs off a couple AA's. I'm just sick of wasting money on AA's. It's a losing proposition, so. Anyways, got this uh, Energizer Recharger, a little value pack. And the uh, four pack of uh, Rayovac AA batteries. <coughs> Excuse me, the Rayovacs are uh, 1350 milliamps. The Energizers are 1300 milliamp hours. So, anyway, it should be comparable. And the charge is going to charge it regardless of the brand name or generic brand if I got it off Amazon, something like that. So, anyways, let's get these opened and uh, let's see what we're looking at. Okay, so for starters, the Rayovac charger had this little piece of plastic in there like that so the batteries don't be depleted and somewhere on this packaging I just read they have a 10 year shelf life <laughs> I'm not sure if these batteries can stay charged and put away somewhere for 10 years but anyways I'm not sure if that's a light or that's a grid or what that is charges double A's and triple A's on the back is the uh, little flip out piece like that. See the battery sort of thing. I guess it's a good way to poke them out with your finger. And we got the Rayovac batteries. Can to read what that says there. Chargeable. There we go on the left hand side by my thumb. 1,350 milliamp hours. So let's get the energizers out and see what they say. Okay, we got the energizer rechargeable. Some sort of serial number there stamped into it. Doesn't say anything about the milliamp hours. Not that I can see. Do you see anything? I don't. Let me uh, get this plugged into the wall wart. Into the wall and uh, let's see what happens here. Okay. Can't find a wall outlet that doesn't have anything plugged into it around my room here. Plugged in into Ellis Rip hidden underneath my desk. So when you plug it in it's red. <laughs> I assume when it's charged it's going to go green. Anyways, we'll give this a while to charge and report back. Well, there we are. I let it charge overnight, and we got a green light. I'm going to charge those other set of batteries, and uh, i got to go to work for about an hour and a half, and I come back and see if they're charged. I never did pay attention to how long these actually took. Okay, so now we got the Rayovac batteries into there. I'm going to see how long it takes to charge. Okay, I came back from work. It's been about two hours, and they're still charging, so this is not a fast charger. It's a slow charger. That's good. It's better to slowly charge your batteries than fast charge them. They last longer that way. And the package said something like, you know, 370 charge cycles off a set of batteries. So 10 bucks for four batteries, 370 times of use. <laughs> it's a heck of a lot cheaper than outlines. Okay, apparently these batteries come depleted as well. It took about four to five hours for these to charge. Got a green light on them, so now I guess I'm all set to use the FBA 39 battery pack with the Yaesu FT5R DDR, whatever the heck it is, and do a battery RF power output test to see what this uh, little battery pack provides for RF on the uh, FT5D. So, watch that video when that comes out, probably about a week later.